We are back at Jör, but it's time for us to go to Budapest. While waiting for a train, we're spending the last few minutes with Judith's parents. <laughs> Getting closer to the city, we could feel the excitement growing. It was going to be a very busy day, and we couldn't wait to get out there. We arrived two hours before the check-in, so we decided to drop off our bags, not waste any time, and start exploring. So, we just arrived in Budapest. It's very hot today. Hot and busy. Yeah, let's go and check it out. The first point of interest was Gorz de Udvar, but we decided to enter it from the main entrance, so we went around the block. is a very popular spot in the city. It was named after a Romanian lawyer, Manu Gostu, known for his real estate investments. And this one was one of them. This passageway consists of seven buildings and six interconnecting courtyards. It was first opened in 1902, 30 years after Gostu had passed away. Today, the passageway is packed with crowds, enjoying the restaurants and bars, and a flea market on the weekends. In 1875, the Liszt Academy is the only institution bearing the name of Ferenc Liszt in which the great composer himself had an active role in establishing. The university, which has been functioning for more than 140 years, is the bastion of music teaching and musicology in Hungary. So guys, this is the largest synagogue in Europe. And I have to say, it's quite impressive. The second largest synagogue in the world, seating 3,000 people, was built between 1854 and 1859 in the Moorish revival style, with a decoration based on Islamic models from North Africa and medieval Spain. The 
Museum was founded in 1802 and is the National Museum for the History, Art and Archaeology of Hungary. You can easily spend the whole day here and it's on top of our list for the next trip to Budapest. Great market hall, and I have to say, the vegetables and fruits look incredible. Wow! The Great Market Hall was built in 1897 and is the largest and the most beautiful of all Budapest market halls. There are three floors where you can get all sorts of produce like fruits, vegetables, dairy products, salamis, fresh fish, Hungarian paprika, Tokay wines, souvenirs, and much more. Checking out Central Market, we crossed the river to check out the Gellert Hill. On the other side, you get to the famous Gellert Hotel and Thermal Bar. Founded in 1918, this spa houses 10 pools of various sizes and temperatures and is open daily, even on bank holidays from 6am to 8pm. The first flight of stairs and we get to the cave church, with a statue of St. Stephen I in front of it. It's a 20 minute walk from here to the top of Gellert Hill, with plenty of opportunities to take a break and enjoy the incredible view. Unfortunately, the Citadella and the Liberty statue were closed for renovation, so we carried on walking towards Buda Castle and the Fisherman's Bastion. history of continuous destruction and reconstructions, the Buda Castle is one of the main symbols of Budapest. It dominates the city from a height of around 300 meters, standing at the top of a Badhead Hill, giving the opportunity for amazing views and Instagram photos of Pest. completed in 1265, although the massive Baroque palace that we see today, occupying the most of the site, was built between 1749 and 1769. walk from the Buddha castle and we get to the Holy Trinity Square and the beautiful Matthias Church, which we will visit tomorrow. Here you 
you can also see a beautiful monument of the first Hungarian king, Saint Stephen I of Hungary, with a fisherman's bastion in the background. Built between 1895 and 1902, the fisherman's bastion is without a doubt one of the top attractions in Budapest. There are seven towers to represent seven Hungarian tribes who founded the present-day country in 895. Today, it's one of the top spots to enjoy the best panoramic views in Budapest. During the day, you will need to purchase a ticket to access the top of the towers, but if you come in the evening, it's free. enjoyed our first day in Budapest and couldn't wait to see more. We had big plans for tomorrow, a guided city tour, followed by a trip to St. Cheney Baths and to finish it off, a night cruise on Danube. But for now, our legs needed a break. It was time to call it a day and head back to our apartment.